Hey guys, Zero here, and this video is going to be a discussion video. Now in these discussion videos, I will be discussing a topic, and you guys can also join in on this discussion in the comment section below. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss if Myotisman is the best villain in the Digimon anime. Also, I want to point out that in this video, I will be focusing on the digital monster villains in Digimon, and not the human villains. So, the Digimon Emperor, Oikawa, Kurata, Yamaki and Neo will all be discussed in a future discussion video. When a lot of people think of a Digimon villain, Myotismon is the first one to come to mind. And whenever there is a vote to see who is the best Digimon villain, Myotismon is always either number one or close. And why is that? Now, one of the main reasons people like Myotismon is because of the nostalgia of the original Digimon series, Digimon Adventure. To a lot of Digimon fans, Digimon Adventure is the best Digimon series. And some fans have stopped watching the new Digimon series like Data Squad and Cross Wars. So they'll only remember the original Digimon adventure and its villains and not the new ones like Dark Nightman and Bagramon. But if nostalgia is the reason why a lot of people like Myotismon, why do people not like Devimon, Etamon and the Dark Masters as much as Myotismon? What makes Myotismon so different to the other villains in the Digimon adventure anime? In this video, I'm going to compare Myotismon to the other Digimon villains in Digimon adventure. So before I talk about why Myotismon is so popular, I must first talk about the other villains in Digimon Adventure and I will discuss what makes them great villains and what problems they have as villains. Let's first talk about Devimon. Devimon is the first major antagonist in the Digimon Adventure anime. Now in anime, the first major arc villain is really important as they set the tone of the show. Of course, the main aspect of the anime is its main character and story, but overall, the first antagonist is a key factor to setting the tone of the anime. As I stated before, Devimon is the first major antagonist to face the Digidestins, and as a villain, he has done some evil deeds, as he is responsible for enslaving Fire Island with his black gears, which allow him to control Digimon, even powerful Digimon like Andromon and Waymon. Devimon is also responsible for hiding the Digidestin's tags and crests so that the prophecy could not be fulfilled, thus hindering the Digidestin's. A really big problem with Devimon is that he only appears for five episodes, and we don't even see him do anything when he does show up. Mostly, Devimon just makes his minions attack the Digidestin's while he just waits around in his his tower. The only time we do see Devimon do something important is when he battles the Digidestins in the final battle. Because we never had too much screen time with Devimon, it really hurts him as a villain. If a villain has more screen time, then they have a better chance at showing their personality and having a bigger impact with the fans. While Devimon has some big problems as a villain, there are things I like about him. First, let's talk about his design. Out of all the villains in Digimon Adventure, Devimon has the more creepy and terrifying design. He looks like a demon while Etamon is just a monkey, Myotismon is a vampire, and Piedmon is a clown. Devimon out of all of them has the best creepy design. Another great thing about Devimon is that through it all, Devimon remains cool and confident. And even when he is defeated by Anjumon, he never loses this aspect of his character. And and laughs at the enemy, something that a lot of villains do not do when they are dying. Devimon is fully aware that he's just one step in the long difficult journey and when defeated, Devimon reveals that there are many other evil Digimon that are more powerful than him. He gloats that even Anjumon will not be able to handle them and then Devimon dies laughing. This setup is amazing because as viewers we understand that there will be more powerful villains than Devimon in the future and this sets up a great tone for the future arc in Digimon Adventure. So while Devimon was not the most active of villains, I do think Devimon sets up the style of Digimon Adventure. Now let's talk about Etamon. While some fans don't like Etamon, I actually like him. Etamon is different and unique among all the other villains in Digimon Adventure. While the other villains are dark, menacing and serious, Etamon on the other hand, was a bit more of a joke villain. He would sing and act like an idiot. He was the complete opposite of the dark and serious Devimon. While Etamon is an idiot, he is still a really powerful Digimon as he would always easily defeat the Digidestin's Digimon. This made Etamon quite dangerous. 
Also, Etamon was very proactive compared to the other villains. He didn't sit around like Devimon. Etamon actually hunted the Digidestans with his vehicle, while Devimon just stayed in his castle and let his minions do all the work. The Digidestans would get defeated by Etamon on more than one occasion, and because of this, the kids actually tried to avoid a confrontation with Etamon. This has nothing to do with Etamon, but one thing I do like about the Etamon arc was the birth of Skull Greymon. I absolutely love Skull Greymon. He is one of my favorite Greymon type Digimon and it's thanks to the Etamon arc that we get to see a Skull Greymon in Digimon Adventure. After Etamon was defeated, he returned as Metal Etamon and as Metal Etamon, he killed Leomon. So Etamon was the one that started the trend of all Leomon and Lion type Digimon dying in every Digimon season. While Etamon might not look threatening and could be annoying to some fans, he is the most productive of the villains in Digimon Adventure. The Dark Masters are a group of four evil mega level Digimon that were created by Apocalymon. They seek to rule the digital world. Each Dark Master is a powerful mega level Digimon who rules some part of their main layer of Spiral Mountain. Since the Dark Masters are a group of four Digimon, this gives them an advantage and a big disadvantage as villains. The advantage is that they are a group of four Digimon with different personalities. Thus, more fans will have more of a chance to like this group because it has four distinct personalities and the big disadvantage to them as villains is that since there are four major villains in this arc we have less time for each villain thus we don't get to fully explore their personality Metal Cedramon gets defeated in two episodes Machine Dramon gets defeated in two episodes Piedmon lasted three episodes and Puppetmon lasted the longest against the Digidestans at five episodes so we don't get to see the Dark Masters in that much episodes compared to Myotismon and Etamon Metal Cedramon was the biggest of the Dark Masters. He ruled over the ocean part of Spiral Mountain. Metal Cedramon was the only data type Digimon which are considered neutral out of all the Dark Masters while the others were all virus type Digimon. This means that Metal Cedramon was the least evil from all the Dark Masters. He even congratulated Scorpiomon on a job well done, something other Dark Masters would not do. Puppetmon was the smallest of the Dark Masters. He liked to control people as they were puppets. He ruled the forest part of Spiral Mountain, and his servants included forest-dwelling Digimon like Cherrymon. Puppetmon loves to play with his enemies, thinking it's fun to see their confusion, but also enjoys murder. Despite this, he's very gullible and prone to temper tantrums when he isn't winning. Puppetmon's personality can be best described as a kid that is a violent, murderous psychopath. Also, Puppetmon manipulates Matt, thus making Matt and Ty and War Greymon and Metal Grumon fight each other. Even though Puppetmon is quite evil, all Puppetmon actually really wanted was a friend, which makes you feel sorry for him in the end when he dies, as all he just wanted was someone to have as a friend. Now Machine Dramon is the most intimidating from all the Dark Masters. He rules the city part of Spiral Mountain. He's probably the most intelligent of the Dark Masters, as demonstrated by his tactic of using Izzy's computer to track his and Ty's location. Machine Dramon was defeated by War Greymon with the Dramon Destroyers, which killed Dramon type Digimon. I actually did not like how War Greymon just instantly defeated Machine Dramon. I just wanted to see a better fight with Machine Dramon. I mean, you have this giant intimidating cyborg Digimon that has parts of other Digimon on its body. You would think that there would be an amazing fight against Machine Dramon, but it all ends in a one-shot kill. And I know that Dramon Destroyers helped kill Machine Dramon instantly, but I just wanted to see Machine Dramon in action. Luckily, I did get to see that in the new Digimon Tri movie, which was amazing. Also, in the Wonder Swan games, they reveal that despite being cut into pieces, Machine Dramon meets a dying Chimeramon and they DNA Digivolve into Millenniumon. So Machine Dramon becomes one of the most strongest Digimon to ever exist. Piedmon was the leader of the Dark Masters. He ruled the central area of Spiral Mountain. Piedmon was notable for being sadistic and psychopathic, enjoying causing pain and psychologically taunting his opponents. I liked Piedmon for his theatrics. Piedmon treated the fight against the Digidestans like a performance. He could have effortlessly killed the children, but he gave them a fighting chance for his amusement. Piedmon's actions are by far the most sadistic. He's not content with simply killing the Digidestined. He wants to toy with them and he is willing to pull off all manner of tricks and illusions to do so. He even turns them into toys at one point. Out of all the Dark Masters, my favorite Dark Master is Machine Dramon. But from all the Dark Masters, Piedmon and Puppetmon are the most fleshed out villains. But I would say the best villain is Puppetmon, as we had more episodes with him that helped flesh out his character a bit more. And all Puppetmon actually wanted was a friend, which is quite a unique goal for a villain to have. 
Now that I have talked about all the other villains in Digimon Adventure and showed you guys what makes them a great villain and what problems some of them have had, let's finally talk about Myotismon. Now, what makes Myotismon so different from all the other villains that I just showed you guys? I mean, you would think that Etamon and the Dark Masters like Piedmon and Puppetmon would have equal popularity with Myotismon, but that's not true. A lot of people love Myotismon, and why is that? I will now explain it all. I think Myotismon was the best villain in Digimon Adventure. Myotismon was a really powerful Digimon. Even though he was an ultimate level Digimon, he would still be able to easily be all the other ultimate level Digimon. All the other ultimate level Digimon weren't even close to his power level. Myotismon would disintegrate attacks from ultimate level Digimon without even touching them and Mega Kabuterimon even charges towards Myotismon and Myotismon redirects him by moving his hand. All this power makes Myotismon a badass Digimon but Myotismon's strength wasn't his distinguishing trait either since all adventure villains were overpowered in their arc. The truly villainous aspect of Myotismon is his personality. On one hand he can act like a gentleman and seduce women as seen when he sucked the blood of two women and on the other hand he is merciless going so far as abusing his servants like Gatomon and Demi Devimon and even killing Pompikimon and Gatsumon for their failure. And finally, when Myotismon killed Wizardmon, who was a fan favorite Digimon. Myotismon was the first evil villain to make the most impact. Devimon just manipulated many Digimon to cause evil deeds, but he himself just mostly sat back in his mansion. Etamon didn't really commit too many atrocious acts. On the other hand, we saw how much terrible things Myotismon had done. He led a ruthless invasion and occupation of Odaiba to find the eighth child, and he had kidnapped hundreds of innocent people and threatened to kill pretty much every single child in Odaiba to stop the prophecy. While some villains commit evil deeds just because they are evil, Myotismon actually believed that it was his destiny to conquer the digital and human world. And whenever he fights, Myotismon uses his bloody stream whips. This shows that Myotismon is quite sadistic and enjoys causing pain on others. Out of all the evil Digimon in Digimon Adventure, Myotismon is the most evil with his atrocities and his unmatched cruelty he has inflicted on others. Also, it's not just Myotismon's personality and his qualities as a villain that makes him memorable. Another reason fans will always remember Myotismon is because of his arc. Myotismon is the main villain in the best arc of all of Digimon Adventure. His arc is when Digimon Adventure started getting amazing. The arcs before Myotismon had terrible pacing and stakes. They also had very little in terms of interesting plot points. Devimon is barely present and he just sits in his tower. And Etamon is literally a joke. He's someone you cannot take seriously. Myotismon arc was when things got serious. The main characters started getting character development and we met the kids families and saw how the kids interacted with their parents and saw their relationships with their parents. In Myotismon's arc, the issues of divorce of Matt and TK's family and the story of Izzy being adopted as well as seeing Sora struggle with her relationship with her mother are all shown to us in full detail. We get to see more character growth with our main protagonist. Also, since Myotismon's arc is the longest, we get to see a lot of amazing things in the arc. We get to see the first ever mega level transformations of Wargreymon and Metal Garurumon. And we get to see Myotismon's return after he is defeated as Venom Myotismon. And finally, we get to see Wizardmon's death which was one of the most memorable and heartbreaking scenes in the franchise. Out of all the Digimon villains, Myotismon was the first villain to actually scare and make children cry. In the end, Myotismon is a great villain because the Digimon Adventure series really didn't hit its stride until the Myotismon arc. Myotismon's arc was a well-written story arc with the best pacing and with a charismatic villain with a great personality. Myotismon left a big impact with the Digimon fans with his evil deeds such as torturing Gatomon and killing Gatsumon, Pumpkinmon, and finally killing Wizardmon, a fan favorite Digimon. And that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I decided not to talk about Apocalymon as I might talk more about him in a future discussion video. And I will be doing more discussion videos in the future. And not just Digimon discussion videos. I might do discussion videos on anything like video games that I like to my favorite shows. Also, I really wish that there was a virus Digimon that was a good Digimon. Imagine in a show where we would have a kind Myotismon that would help innocent Digimon. It would make him really stand out and unique. Hopefully in the future Digimon series we get to see more virus type Digimon like Piedmon, Devimon and Myotismon as good Digimon. In Digimon World Games we do see them as good Digimon. So hopefully we see them as good Digimon in the anime as well. Anyways, is Myotismon your favorite villain? And if he is not, then who is your favorite villain in Digimon series? Do you guys think Myotismon is the best villain in Digimon Adventure or even in the Digimon series? Let's start a discussion in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.